Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple Ruby development environment in VS Codium. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to set up software and how to install it, then make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have this folder open called Ruby and I have this test.rb file. And there's a couple things I want here. I want syntax highlighting, maybe some snippets, um, you know, a little bit of that kind of thing. And I also want to be able to run the Ruby file pretty easily from the, in the editor. I mean, you can open up a terminal in VDS Codium and run it that way, but I also like to be able to click a play button and just run it, right? That'd be nice. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is go to these extensions over here, and we're going to click on the extensions. And the first one I'm going to search for is VS Code Ruby. Okay, so this extension here, and we'll click install, and that'll give you um, basically syntax highlighting and a couple snippets in Ruby and that kind of thing. Okay, and that's now available for VS Codium, even though it says VS Code Ruby. Pretty sweet. Okay, um, the next thing I want to install is Code Runner, and that's going to allow me to run the code. So I'm going to search for Code Runner, and this is going to give me that play button that I can just click on the play button and run the run the file. Okay, so I'm going to click install for code runner. There we go. So we got those two things installed. Uh, <clears throat> so now with VS Code Ruby, if I type if, I get these uh, snippets here. So I could do an if, else, if, else. So if I hit tab, it kind of gives me the code. The one thing you might notice is that the indentation here is four spaces. Now the standard for Ruby is typically two spaces, so we can change that easy. I'm going to do a control comma to get up, open up my settings, and I'm going to go down to my tab size here and change that to two. Okay. All right. So now I'll go back here. I'll undo this, and if I do my snippet now, you'll see that the spacing is now at two spaces. Okay. And I've got that snippet um, because of the uh, VS Code Ruby extension. All right. Let me get this a little bit larger for you, so I can. You can see the code, and you can also see this play button that I've got now from Code Runner. So let's create a file, or let's create a, a short program. So I'm going to say something like if name uh, double equals Tim, let's do it in caps here, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, hi, and then let's use some string interpolation. We'll say hi, Tim, or hi, name rather. Right, this is the variable is called name. Okay, and then we'll say else if name uh, double equals Joe. We'll do something like puts by, and then we'll do the same thing, string interpolation, and I, I did it again. <laughs> We're going to use the variable name, and then otherwise let's do a, a puts and say I don't know you, um, and then we'll do the name variable. All right, and we should probably go up here and set the name variable. So let's set the name variable equal to Tim to start. Okay, I'm going to save this and then I'll press this play button and you see it runs it and it produces hi Tim. Okay, so now we're doing pretty good for our Ruby development environment. If I want to change this and test out my program, let's do Joe and let's see if it'll play it and save it. Nope, so we have to save it first, so just keep that in mind. But if we run it now, we get by Joe, okay? So let's change it one more time to Billy. Save it and run it. And we go, we get I don't know you, Billy. So we've got that Ruby development environment set up. It seems to be running well. And that's all there really is to it to set up a simple development environment in VS Codium for Ruby. I am hoping this video was helpful to you. If it was, could you help the video out so it can get out to more people by giving it a like. Thank you. 